Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that We call that, ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling, my phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do, penthouse man, what of you What's going on everybody, it's Bordis Lab Train And welcome back today guys, Top 10 Drifts of the Week is back on this Friday, man Now starting this off with some honorable mentions We actually have quite a few with shards throwing in a crazy reverse entry here on a set of Corsa. Now, first and foremost, I want to give everybody a huge thank you for coming around to last week's episode. We capped out at around 140,000 views for the full week and uh, 4,500 likes, man. So I definitely do appreciate that. Thank you to everybody that did stop by. Uh, we had a clip sent in from Project Cars. Uh, this man has two wheels on this R8. I have no idea if it's a glitch or if he just accidentally lost the two. I don't know, man. Help me out in the comment section down below. We had some crazy flips, though, coming in this week. And I didn't want to make this all about a top 10, you know, flips or, you know, tricks or anything like that. Uh, but I think that I have organized them in a good way for you guys to at least accept them in the lineup. You know, I understand you guys are wanting more of the drifting content and i've been trying to slowly bring that back over and you know trying to appreciate every clip as we do so including uh that crazy clip there from watchdogs too we also had a horizon 2 dock section from crispy candy coming in with just a really crazy freestyle reverse entry coming between some tight sections i enjoyed it man. we haven't seen any forza horizon 2 for a long time and i think i'm starting to miss it man we also had some flips here on mobile from a Sludo Racing, this man is on Ebisu Manabe, and he just pulled off some type of barrel roll and landed it, held the slide, and then continue on to run the wall, man. It's pretty crazy to think about, but that's actually a mobile game, man. We also had Mr. Frog here with a very nice reverse entry. Unfortunately, uh, it was a little bit too conservative for the top 10 list, man. I'd like to see you extend that into the rail. Don't touch it, though, if you want. Just tap it is all I'm saying. Now, I also asked you guys last week, did you agree with the top 10 lineup? Uh, we had 90% of you guys agreed with that who did vote, so I definitely appreciate everybody's you know, kind of on the same page with this, and this is what I definitely enjoy, you know, being able to try to please everybody. Obviously, there's going to be that, you know, 10 to 20% that just does not agree, but for the most part, though, I feel with the, you know, the length that I've been doing this series, um, you know, it's been a fairly damn good run for its time and i definitely do think so we also had a really nice all-wheel drive entry come in you know i don't showcase a lot of all-wheel drive but for this one though i thought it was pretty damn clean and we're gonna jump right in to this with number 10 ftp asap for the win here on forza horizon 3 with his c6 corvette and uh this man is getting some high he pretty much jumps right past the drift zone unfortunately he didn't hold it out as much as i would have really liked him to see um but it was a pretty damn crazy i've never seen anybody attempt to jump that and the fact he went underneath the bridge it was crazy man number nine tr penguin fours a six the man gets t-boned into another drift i've never seen anything like this the man pulled out a madden hit stick on this man and he's gonna hold it out it wasn't the cleanest run but i think it was pretty damn cool number eight xx dc sport xx now we are kind of done with the trick clips if you will and uh, i do like to input them in for the weeks because they're pretty damn crazy man we had a really nice reverse entry here coming in at one of the sections now he did write in that this was not the section that everybody has been using i do believe that is a drift zone this section uh, but the man kill it though times two on the close call he's gonna hold out the skill chain and just clean it up man. that's about it number seven we this have joe valla and ms arulis uh hopefully i did pronounce that probably they're on live for speed with one of the cleanest overtakes I have seen in a very long time and he makes it effortless and you know I mean even the lead car did a fantastic job just holding out his line not panicking as the man's going by because I mean it could get nerve-wracking as you're seeing a car come on up you know you maybe you want to move out of the way the man had full trust in his driving capabilities that's gonna give him a spot on top 10. Man. Number six though, we have a full crew here, man. Forza Horizon 3, we have Exempt, Parker SR20, Margin, E46, Devious, 36. These guys are throwing down some nighttime tandems here. And I believe maybe Byron Bay, don't quote me on that here. 
Now, what I did like about this clip was the aggressiveness of the tandem. You know, they weren't scared to scrape a little bit, throw some sparks up, but they were trying to get as close as possible without touching. I think they did a damn good job at achieving that. Right at the very last transition, though, it kind of got a little bit bunched up, but they never really lost their line. And I mean, the proximity throughout the entire run stayed almost consistent. So, for that, it was a damn good run. Number five this week, Itch Itchin' with some wreck fest. Now, he's actually in a pit stop, and uh, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now, man. Look how close this man got to this. We're gonna get a nice little cockpit run. It was a simple, clean drift. I love the addition with the replay angles just to show how close this man actually got. That's gonna be good enough for a top five spot. Number four this week, we have Big J420, CS, Hirojima, O2 bit, and Simulation Drift at the very back. Now this is actually on a set of course on the console, and uh, this is pretty cool to see a you know, five-man train getting thrown down on a console version. Now, we have a few different variations in here. We have the E30, we have the AE86 as well too. E30 is what you're looking at currently. And these guys are just really doing a fantastic job of changing up the track layout. You know, we see these clips coming in all the time and I always consistently say, change up the layout. These guys did exactly that. Beautiful slides. Number three, z tuned and SSG coming. Now, this is a very interesting clip and you know they're taking Forza Horizon 3 and they're innovating the sections that we have seen and you know just been overused. So what they're doing here, they're thinking outside the box and they started in a nice little jump drift section going down the levels and I have never really personally seen this section before. If you guys have, let me know. Uh, unfortunately though, Z-Tune ended up rolling on that final jump down. Hopefully the man's all right, but there's always room for improvements though. Uh, so hopefully we see you know, a larger train coming down that section now number two this week camber issues now this could have easily been the number one clip and i mean seeing this again and again it just blows me away every single time i see it the man's not done if you didn't know he's gonna go ahead and jump z tune and ssg cummings on that last stretch um it was a very tough second and first choice but i had to give it to d1 slc patik and his run here on Forza Motorsport 6 on Watkins Glen. Now this guy was actually showcased first last week for an honorable mention. He went from first to last this week coming in clutch with probably the most aggressive run we have seen in a very long time. A solo run at that. So if you guys are saying slap, I, you know, I only got myself to slide with. I don't want to hear it because it's possible to be in the top three on a solo run and this is exactly proof of that exact situation now we're gonna get one more look on a third person cam just to see how close this man actually was he's gonna throw it in very hard give it you know a nice moderate tap but it's still you know it's just a tap you can go ahead for the third tap on that run i believe that was number four and he's gonna then transition tap it again number five on that it just it was an absolutely ridiculous run and that's going to pretty much do it for the lineup of Top 10 Drifts of the Week. Did you guys agree with the lineup? I will leave a poll up for you guys right now to click and vote on. You guys can do it on mobile, on desktop. Super easy. Just click the button and vote. Now, I do have a few more clips, and we're not done just yet, but I did receive some IRL clips that I did want to showcase to you guys. I didn't want to put them in the top 10 because, it, you know, it was a pretty solid lineup of games, and I figured they just needed their own spot. So here we go, man. We have Instagram, Jack OAA. Make sure you guys go and follow him. He's actually sliding with Monkey London in front of him right now, and he's actually driving a JZX100 chaser, and they're at the Santa Pod track. Uh, I mean, as I said, his Instagram will be in the bottom. I, it was just really cool to see, you know, a clip with Monkey London and the fact that, you know, he watched the vids and he sent them in. I really did appreciate that. And I mean, it's just crazy to think about how far away these guys are throwing down tandems and the fact that they're sending them in to top 10. I mean, just... It's a thank you, man. I mean, that, that's really about it. And it's really crazy that you guys can share your experiences on the track, send them in, and then I get to kind of, you know, relive them with you guys. It's pretty damn crazy. I really appreciate, you know, the time and effort that it does take to send them in. Also, too, did you see how close that man slid in on Monkey London's door? Huge respect to both drivers. I will leave Jack OAA's Instagram down below with Monkey London's YouTube channel. Go and check them both out. We have another IRL clip from A Grizz Spec D Turbo. Now, he's got a full hydro handbrake set up on this thing. He's actually driving a Ford Sierra hatchback. And the track that he mentioned was Nuts Corner Oval. 
And, uh, I mean, seems you have to have balls of steel to run this because this man is throwing this thing so hard. And, you know, it's exhilarating to watch this. Unfortunately, it's not a full HD clip. But right here, the transition coming back into the wall on that oval. Just beat the shit out of that. Have a listen to it. Damn, man. Another week of top 10 drifts is done. I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that did send in their clips. We have a little outro montage from Malky. I will leave this full down below. It's a pretty damn crazy montage. A lot of work went into this. I can definitely tell a lot of camera angles, a lot of clips, a lot of style points, man. I definitely appreciate you guys sending in a second montage for this week. And I appreciate everybody sending their clips for top 10 drifts. If you guys don't know, there will be a template. You guys fill that out. You then send it to the email address provided down below and uh, it's as simple as that man. make sure your clips are unlisted or public on YouTube so I can at least access them and start watching I'm still getting clips where people are sending the link in the emails and you know people are just uploading the file on the email um, I don't see them on my end it's just a blank page when I go ahead and open up your email so just make sure you follow the rules to get entered into top 10 drifts I still have so many clips that go through ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching Motorside Train I'm out Peace. Doing this is my calling.